wanted to be like Hov. I'm living the Vida look. They just wanna ride my wave. You ain't never seen my boat. Splash. Hit him with the east side smoke. We're fucking forest uh, tunes. It's a pleasure to see you. We're Jungle Beats, Charlie's <laughs> plug to the um, music reviews in the country. And I'm Alexander Sandal, so aka Sandy Sen. This is my great friend, um, Pikachu. Uh, Pterodactyl. Don't even, don't even fucking get to name myself this time. Fuck me, I guess I'm Pikachu Pterodactyl for today. <laughs> and we're reviewing Joyner Lucas's, and it always came out over a week ago, but the track's called I Love. I'm a huge fan of Joyner Lucas. His last album was one of my favorites of the year. Number two. No, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> and he's got a new album coming out, which we will review. But for now, we got to get to the, the new track just to see mm -hmm. what type of flavor he's on. Be it raspberry or cinnamon, we'll find out. Two very different, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I pick similar flavors? Why would I pick like strawberry and raspberry? Either? They're pretty much the same flavor. Shut your mouth! <laughs> oh. I put the glass on, that's when you know it's serious. Oh. Oh. He's gonna spit some bars on this bitch. song it got better as it went on for me should be still good uh, but i recognize the mainstream radio appeal of that hook that many are going to criticize such as yourself what are we talking about maybe i fucking love that hook go ahead bro ah uh, that hook is trash <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's get it i love i love i love i love, I love. What you say to me, la la? Holy shit, kill me. Versus fire, <laughs> beat, fire, <laughs> hook, radio, pop. I know what you're trying to do. You need one of those for your album. I get it, you made Eminem now, and Eminem's terrible at making music pretty much most of the time, except for his last album. But you know, meeting would have been like, hey, we ought to make a radio song. We really want to be successful. That's how you do it. It's trash. That's very well put. Very well put. Uh. I get, I get why it's there. You've reached a level where you want to reach out to a broader audience to, because honestly, like your last album was dope as fuck. And a lot of people be sleepy on you, like myself. And what's a good way to get people who be sleepy on you? Make a radio hit single to get their attention and make them listen to all your other shit where your message is going to be more inspiring and more shit you're saying. So I get why this is here, man. And I, you know, I fuck with most of it. I love how you, you put out your perspective and then you argued against yourself i really thought that was clever and like well done that's how we should do it um because you provided the other side and why he would have justified that mm -hmm. so i kind of can see why and yeah but beside that for me it's short enough it's it's i don't not enjoy it so i can get past oh, that the verses are fire to get to the the verses and the dynamicness of his flow and his creativity his wordplay just everything that i love joiner for and i think he he delivers it in a way that is, is a little bit refreshing to me um and every track i go to him i'm, I'm enjoying it and i'm mm -hmm. i'm the energy he brings is just infectious. It's also just fun to watch. He just generally looks like he really enjoys himself. And a lot of the backdrops that I've created for this video are really good. Like the, the outfits and the background, the lighting all sort of matched. I wonder why he did that because a lot of the backgrounds were quite different. It was from like mainstream party to then like this old king guy in a castle type place. And then a background of like a pink car with balloons on it. And what do you reckon the track was about? Was he Because I remember him talking about these are the sort of, like I heard a really cool line of like just because I'm sober all the time you don't think I'm cool. 
So I think he's, he's pretty much like owning up to like, I love, like maybe he loves himself, like despite all the things that people may call faults or things that make him not as good as other rappers is like, well, I love these things. Like, well, he's definitely addressing the current state of, of hip hop and himself. Yeah, I think that's why he uses a lot of flows that are very reminiscent of other rappers. So his next album is called ADHD. This is the first single of it. Off it. Man, does everyone have ADHD these days? Well, like the first verse is like, look, I love it when they count me out. I'm a soldier. Like, they think I ain't cool because I'm sober. Yeah, that's it's Just true. like you said. Mm-hmm. And I really hope that grows more with music. A lot of, lot of other artists, especially hip-hop, that don't feel like they need to take some form of substance to help improve their music or try to appeal to a fan base. So you don't got to do that. I mean, there is a fan base for that. If you want to do that, do it. Just be aware of the consequences. Join up for me as another great track. I'm impressed and I'm satisfied. I cannot. I look forward to ADHD, man. I hope you can deliver mm-hmm. once again. But I don't know how this is going to fit into a conceptual body of work. These first, the last album had a very nice concept. This, I wonder where it's going to fit in. Yeah, I really hope your feature with Eminem hasn't tainted your vision. Because I know that most people that come in contact with Eminem, they become Venom. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Venom, um, Venom, Venom, Venom. I'm never going to listen to this track again, except for when the album comes out. Uh, besides that, I'm just looking forward to the album, Joiner. You're a real dope artist, and I think you're exactly what hip hop needs at this time of our. You're the superhero that people didn't want. You're Venom, 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 Venom. You say you must have got paid a lot because not only he, he performed that and did a video for it. Yeah, not only did a video for it, but then he performed it live hmm. on the Empire State Building in New York. You got paid a lot. And then I heard the movie was trash, and I was like, man. Yeah, top, bottom three Marvel movies, man. I'm disappointed. Damn. Damn. But, you know, Fox directed it, so Fox need to fuck off. Man, Fox has directed it? I thought Fox all they did was eat rabbits and be cunning and shit, man. How many Foxes were on set where they just like, ah, ah, with cameras like, oh, give me that shit. Ah, ah." Is that why it was shit? Because Fox has filmed it? Fuck, man, I wish I was a fox so I could film my own movie. It's the only thing I love. I love, 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 love. I love, I love, love, love.